Okay, good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Now, I haven't talked yet. I haven't talked at all until the second. Uh, trying to decide between two things here, which I can't seem to do because I like them both. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe we do them both or watch them. But. Uh, good morning, Melissa. You're risking $500 today. Do my best. I always do my best. <laughs> I do my best for everyone, not just you. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> you people are funny. Michael, I emailed you. The emails keep bouncing. Obviously, you got one. Somehow, it made it through the twilight zone of emails that keep bouncing. Uh, SFM doesn't rate good, but I think it works. But aggressive entry here, I don't see it. The tiebreakers here are RCII and GNC, both of which I like. Let's just look at the market. No, it's it, that was me sniffling, not snorting. I'm actually sniffling. I don't, I don't. This weather has been crazy. One minute it's freezing, the next minute it's hot. You know, it's 50 degrees out now. I'm fighting off a cold. It's a sniffle, not a snort, although I'm not opposed to snorts. I might have to get some over-the-counter stuff for the weekend because I can't afford to get sick. Uh, market looks higher. Market looks higher. Jeez. What did Netflix do? Let's look at it. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Look at that. 10 points. More than 10 points. I didn't look at that last night because obviously it wasn't in it. There's nothing to do in it. I didn't see anything here ahead of time. Just wait till it gaps. But look at that. People will probably try to sell this today, but I wouldn't. We're not going to do anything with this here. I've kind of sh I've kind of shied away from taking things before the earnings unless I unless I really see something that I know is going to happen. I either do it into the earnings or wait till after. It's you know you really don't know what it's going to do. I mean sometimes I see something and I just feel really confident in it and I just you know I wasn't sure what that would do uh, RCII and GNC that's a tie it's a tie targets really even almost same amount of money the spread is almost the same amount mm hmm I'm going to watch them both. I just don't know which one I'm going to do. I, I'm going to watch them both. So maybe we'll do both or, or I'll do whichever one sets up first. Or I think I'm going to have RCII up as the main one. GNC here in the middle. It's got to be a quick day for me today. I have an appointment. I can't mess around. Uh, I won't be running the room late today. I have things to do. So uh, if I exit this into the first move, it's just because of the fact I've got to get going this morning. But you could hold any of these things, I think, to the targets. These are good gaps. So eight bucks in RCII and GNC. I mean, I said $10, but that could really go to nine something. I didn't put some crazy number in there because I wasn't sure where this would open. GNC. But it could go to nine something. Okay. I like them both. They're both good gaps. So GNC is in the middle. If it sets up, I'll call it. RCII is the main watch here. Again, one quick play. CSX, I think, was yesterday, Sue. But, you know, we have plenty of things to do today. I mean, I could have rated, uh, I could have rated many, many other things. I just picked the two best ones. CSX, yeah, it's a good long. It's a good long in here. I wouldn't know if I'd do it aggressively. 
Netflix is the big earnings winner, though, last night. Really. Okay, here we go. RCII, we're going to be a little patient. GNC is falling too. Let's see. Again, they both rated well. I'm just focusing on the one, but. Here this goes. Look at this. Here, this is going too. Okay. Well, look at this. Here this goes. Hmm, hold on. Wow, look, here this goes. Here's the volume coming into this too. GNC. All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. Nothing's set up yet. Here, you can do GNC right here, but I think the stop's too big. 39 by 80. 39 by 80, it's breaking. I'm going to wait and see if this backs up and take it. I think the stop's too big. 39 by 80, though, GNC just hit. I'm going to, I think I'm going to watch this, but I want a better entry. You could do this 39 by 80. It hit too fast for me to take it, and I don't like the stop, but GNC is valid. Man, this is going to go to 9 something today. This could go to $9 today. GNC, 39 by 80, but I'm going to wait for better entry. Let me flip back to this. Okay, RCII. Maybe we will get two. Okay, I'm watching two things. This did hit. I think the stop's too big. It should give another entry. And this hasn't done anything yet. This is going to go to nine something, though. Okay, RCII. Wow, look at that. Fifty-two by eighty-five RCII. Fifty-two by eighty-five RCII, and look at the GNC. That, that I think that just did a swoosh. It did. We'll go back. We're gonna go back to that. But you could you could be in it. I just thought the stat was too big, but there it goes. Let's do fifty-two by eighty. Fifty-two by eighty RCII. Fifty-two by eighty. This flips over the high. I'm not going to like it. Let's see. We'll just flip right to GNC. So RCII, 52 by 80. It's a little tight, but it's okay. GNC, I'm going to go back to. Okay, don't, don't. Don't jump the gun on RCII. And GNC, it, it just it did do a swoosh. Wow, two swooshes in a week. It's amazing. See, it doesn't matter if the market's bullish. 52 by 80 RCII. It's a good entry, but it hasn't hit. And this, this is just continuing to go for now. So we're, we're going to get another entry in this. If you did it, fine. If you did it, you should almost be out or just follow it down bar by bar. And RCII hasn't hit yet, so no one should be in this at all. You could be in the GNC. I just thought the stop was too big, but it will give another entry. Okay, 52 by 80 RCII. Here, look at that GNC. Did anyone do that? 
Holy crap. You could have done the late entry with the big stop and still made money. Maybe I was too conservative. Here, 52 by 80 RCII. Let's pay attention. Holy crap, look at that. It's just going to break $10. Some of you did it. Wow. Maybe I was being too picky. Man, if this doesn't set up, then I'm going to not get anything here. Crap. Look, this is the exit, though, and the first exit, though, 10 o'clock. I mean, $10, $10. This is the target here on the GNC. Even the lane entry here, that's the target, people. Be out. Be out. It's going to set up again, and I may do it if, I, if we get it. I'm waiting on this thing. Jeez. Here, you're bar by barring it. Wow. No, RCII isn't doing it yet. Wow, look at this. Okay, some of you did it. All right, I'm still watching the RCII. This has not got given another entry. The first one worked. Maybe I was being too picky. It still should set up again. Okay, let's do 59 by 59 by 80 RCII. 59 by 80 RCII. I'm still watching this, but it's looking less interesting. Here. Oh my goodness, look at GNC. You really should be almost out of that though for the first move. Uh, look. It just broke 10. Ay ay ay. Here, some of you are in it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I watched RCII and I'm waiting. It still hasn't set up. This is, look at this. Ah, oh, crap. This may not set up again now. This may, here. Wow. No, it may not. That might be it. <gasps> it's still going. Is anyone still in it? It's going to break 980. GNC. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It just dropped a dollar. Is anyone still in it? GNC. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And I waited for, I wanted to wait for the entry, the secondary entry and it just dropped a buck. This is, a, this is more than a dollar. Gosh, darn it. I just thought the stop was too big. Didn't matter. Cayman dude is out. Am I the only one that didn't do this? Seriously? No, RCII isn't setting up. Wow. All right, I'm going to flip to see if I can get an entry in GNC, but that one was massive. No, oh, that really stinks. I didn't get that. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys got it. I still think this could set up, but the move now is so jimongous. I'm not certain. Steel hard is important for you to make money. I wouldn't be worrying about ours right now. Just get that out of your head. So this actually dropped almost a dollar from, from a big stop. That's, it's, it, I mean, it was a good gap. And I told you that. And it wasn't a gap on earnings, but it didn't matter. And I said that. I just thought RCII may have a better entry when I saw the size of this. I, I really didn't think it should need a 40 cent stop. It's not done. And if this keeps going, then we won't get an entry. And I would be out of this. I would be out of this if I had done it, but it looks like it's headed to nine bucks today. This did open and swoosh. We'll go over it. I'm here. Hey, gosh. I, I wouldn't see any reason to still be in it, but it's still dropping. Is there any single solitary human being that's still in this? It's still going. Wow. It's going to try to break 50. Here it goes. It's going to break 50. Here it goes. It may just go right down to $9. No, nope, and this isn't going to work. So I watched this. I didn't lose any money in this. It never set up. It's not going to work. It looks like it's going to flip over nine, and it never set up. So it didn't, didn't really do anything wrong, uh, but it's not going to go red today. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, I watched both things, and I just thought I should get a better entry. And it hasn't given it. I mean, it just collapsed. Discipline Dune is still in it. Who does you're doing an option in, in GNC? 
Now, no signs of buying, but you're going to have short covering here. So don't, I mean, there's people short. It's just like you. There's people short in the room. You're going to have short covering that's going to make a green bar. I'm waiting for this to rally back with the short covering, but it's not doing it. And now I realize I should have just taken the darn trade in here. I had time. It's still going. This is nuts. Look, under 50. 925 if it breaks 950. Well, I'm glad you guys got it. I didn't get it. And this isn't going to work. So no one's short RCII. It's not going to work. Let's look at Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is, is really not going to go anywhere today in either direction. Because it really is long, but people are going to try to fade this. But it, it's stupid to do. I wouldn't do anything with Netflix unless you're going to buy it. And it's hard to buy it at that point. Market just made a brand new all-time high again in the QQQs. So I don't, I, this is market isn't sidelining here in the queues. In the SPY, they still are. Will the SPY break out with the queues? I don't know. Just look at some of these other things in here. No, I, I, I'm not going to chase that GNC either. Called a great trade for the room. You guys did it. I just thought 40 cents was too big. It wasn't. I would not do anything in Netflix like that, Chief, but you do whatever you want. Uh, let me just look here. I don't think this is going to set up again. So so very unusual. Let's just go over it. Let's just go over it because I, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything today. But the room did a great trade, and I'm happy for you. So I, I preferred to watch RCII. I thought it would have a better entry with the risk to reward. As it turns out, it didn't set up at all. So I missed this. But I did think this would back up and set up and never did. And because of the move it made so aggressively this morning, this may not set up again now. It's very, very late. It's 941. The stock opened and swooshed. It also opened and collapsed. It dropped. It fell to some dream number, a number it didn't even have written down. Will this set up again today? It may not. Sometimes these things go, they collapse, they sidelines the rest of the day, and then they never, they don't, they don't do anything. They don't do anything right. So this could have one more move down, not set up right, collapse into nine dollars and sideline all day. So you can't, this is this is not an entry, and here's just it's just selling off. It's unbelievable. I would have never been in this till 9.50, though, I'll tell you that. Um, AKS. <clears throat> Give me other ideas. I mean, I, I will still think about taking a trade between now and 10 o'clock, but at this point here, I didn't think I was being too conservative with that, but maybe I was. I never thought I'd drop more than a dollar in five minutes. Uh, AKS, no. What are you going to do with this? Sitting on support, there's nothing here. It's not even gapping down. And this didn't work right. I didn't think it would. Uh, let me look at the other one. No, this didn't work right. I didn't think it would either. This is worth a dollar. Can't do this. It's too cheap. GNC was the one. I gave it to you. I just handed it to you. I just didn't flip over to do it fast enough, and I thought the stop was too big. And this isn't going to work. So don't anyone short this. It's probably going to fly over nine. It really needed to hold in here. I wanted the confirmation that was good. It never set up at all. So no one should have lost any money in this. You can't go long it. It looks very well like it's going to go over nine. So there's nothing to do there. All right, let's go over GNC. I don't think this is going to set up again right. Everyone should be out. I would definitely have been out if I had taken it. I don't know if I would have got, I definitely wouldn't have gotten this last bit here. I probably would have gotten something into this last push here, wherever I would have exited it. But this here, I mean, there's just no way I would have gotten this down to 950. But this very well could possibly go to $9 today. But when will it set up? This could rally for, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes before it sets up properly on, and sets up in the 15 minute chart and then goes to nine. Um, it was a good gap. The fact that it wasn't earnings didn't matter. I still rated it. You can rate anything that's a gap down. I guess it was a downgrade. Things gap for various reasons. It is earnings season, and so we do tend to do earnings gaps, but not everyone has to be an earnings gap. We'll do anything that rates good. So is anyone in anything else they want me to go over?
had volume right away. I think this has to let rally for at least a half an hour before it's able to be reshorted. So I don't know. RCII now? No. No, it's not going to go red today. This bar will close green on the day. Whatever red you see here is people that went long the stock into the open. Traders like to buy these things. It's, it's something that traders like to do. When a stock is falling, falling, falling and gaps down big, traders like to buy it into a gap fill. I know what traders are doing. This is not institutional buying. I will tell you that right now, but traders bought this today and no one else sold it off so it didn't go red. So you can't short this because people are buying it today. Not people in control of the stock. Who's in control of the stock? The bears. But they sold off in the gap. It's nothing to do today. This is going down lower and it's probably a great watch for the next week and the next month. But today, this will not, stock will not go red. Traders like to buy this. It's a terrible thing to do. It screws up your head. It's one of the reasons why people, many people that trade gaps have no intuition like I do about seeing things. I don't do this, even though I see it's not working in the opposite direction. Do not short this today. All right, I'm going to give a kamikaze entry. I'm not doing it, but kamikaze entry in here. If you want to short GNC, I'm going to give it to you. It's a kamikaze, which means 50-50 chance of working or failing, and I don't have the entry yet. It's going to be a kamikaze because it could not set up correctly. Break again and just go right down to 925 or 9. So low, low odds of working. It's called a kamikaze if you want to do it. If you made a crap load of money in the first trade, which everyone did that did it, you can risk a couple hundred shares and do it if you want. I'm not going to do that unless it has a confirmed entry, which I, which I don't think I'm going to get because <clears throat> I think it's going to need the 15-minute chart. It's going to have to rally back to $10, and it's going to take a while. So Kamikaze on GNC if you want it. Again, I must be clear, I'm not doing it. I missed this trade today, so I guess I'm out of luck, but, you know, that's life sometimes. You got two things to watch. One thing doesn't set up and one thing goes. Oh, my eye is so good though. And I'm glad I called it for the room and I'm glad I didn't do the other one or I'd be down. If we shorted RCII, I would be down today. And we'll go over Target, which went to an amazing number yesterday. We'll go over that. Went to the number I said for all those of you that held it. Well, let's just see here. Let's just see if this actually retests 10. If it goes over 10, it's done, though. Uh, RCII, no, I wouldn't do anything with this. This is a fake out. It just triggered on the five minute, but it's not going to work. It's a fake, fake, fake. Target, let's see if this continued today. Discipline Dave, you're doing good back in the group here. Discipline Dave did the class years and years and years ago, and now is back finally trading semi-retired so that's good uh this gap down today wow i didn't even notice that where did this go 66.35 don't anybody look i'm gonna look at my sheet 66.35 66.35 is what i had down written on the sheet as the target as the first target does, does anyone pay attention to anything i say this went to 66.35. That is the exact number that I gave for the first target yesterday. It went there exactly to the penny. I'm a genius. Here, and this isn't going to work. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my life. I should be a billionaire by now. All right, GNC. I'm not doing it. If it sets up again, I'll call it. Does anyone even remember me writing that number in the room? Do people even pay attention to anything I say? <sighs> Jeez. Galahad said yes. I don't know, sometimes you do, Galahad, sometimes you do, but you don't understand what I say. Which we're going to clarify when you get here. Koala wrote it down. Yep, there you go. Koala wrote it down. That's exactly what I wrote down yesterday. Unbelievable. I mean, it's not unbelievable. It's 100% believable. 
Uh, 75 by 95. Kamikaze on GNC, because it may not hold, but this is so weak. Here, 75 by 95, it just hit. Kamikaze GNC call if you want to short it right here now to get it through the break of the low, wherever it goes, and just take one quick trade into 10 o'clock. You got 10 minutes. This is a kamikaze setup. I don't think it's rallied enough, but it very well could work because the stock isn't backing up at all. It isn't backing up at all. People are still short this that think it's going to some crazy number like 9 or 875. So this very well could drop and break the low right in here into 10 o'clock reversal time. You got 10 more minutes. You could scalp it. It just hit if you want it. Good entry. Much, much better than the first one, but the first one had the big target. You should have done what, but didn't. Did the target or held the target? All right, let's go over target quick. And did anyone do this? So this actually had a beautiful late entry, which I, you know, I don't do that often, but it did have a beautiful, beautiful 15 minute. It did have another, I mean, this thing just had a nice breakdown play right around lunch. So you could have done it with a tight, tight stop if you wanted to, and if you did, you could have got a buck out of it. You're very late to hold it though. I mean, you would have been holding this well into two o'clock into the afternoon, very late to be in a trade, but you actually were never down. So if you shorted it here or shorted it here, the stock, stock just, you know, collapsed. So you could have done it and you would have never been worried about the trade because it really just, you were up money ever since you did it. And this is a higher time frame. It was a nice trade yesterday that I called and an absolute perfect target. And in fact, let's just see exactly the time that it hit the target. It hit the target at two o'clock major reversal time. I mean, talk about perfect. Look at that, people. Like Susanna said yesterday, textbook. What was the other one yesterday I didn't do but worked? What was the other one yesterday? Oh, the Gimo. The Gimo, but I didn't, I didn't do it, but I called it, which did work. I think this sold off into the afternoon as well. Let's look. Gimo. Yes, it did. It sold off into 1 o'clock. Gimo worked as well. I didn't do this yesterday, but I rated it, and it rated good, and some of you did it, and it worked. You could have done both. Steelheart's back in GNC. It's working, but Steelheart, if I were you, I wouldn't have redone this trade. Why? You have a problem in your mind. You got to get over it. One trade and done. You were trading all afternoon last year. You shouldn't have been doing that. Just get take the money you make in the morning and be happy with it. What if this doesn't work? It's working, but what if it doesn't? Then you would have made money today and gave the money back. It doesn't even money isn't an object for you. You have your mental prop thing is you've got to get over your mental thing. Mental, mental, mental. This is working, but I put the stop at break even because you need to make money. Because this trading more, 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 more. That's not the way that you make money in the market. I wouldn't have redone this if I were you. If, I, if you were here in New York with me and mentoring me, I wouldn't have let you do the trade. You made money in the morning, you proved you can do it. You took a good risk of $500, you got a great trade, it fell off a planet. I'm trying to help you people. And everybody has different issues. But as I'm getting used to, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm getting to know some of you, I'm seeing what they are. I'm seeing what they are. <clears throat> okay. Um, so here, you know, I didn't get this today, but it's fabulous. All right, let's look at the market. Market made a brand new all-time high again in the QQQs. 125 looks like it's in sight, may not back up before then. Huge, massive earnings week next week, the biggest one of the quarter. Google, Amazon, BABA. I mean, I thought the market could sideline until we hit up over this number. The SPY is flat. Banks aren't helping the SPY at all. Let's take a look at them. But, I mean, the queues are just nonstop here. I think IBM's out tonight. I'll have to look at it. Too, too late to go back and see what the Netflix option would have been, but it just it would have been a kamikaze to even call that because I wasn't sure the direction it would go. Wasn't sure if it would go up or go down or do whatever. I have no idea what it was or even if I would have, probably maybe if I would have done the 140s, but it probably was cheap. But again, you know, so many times you need to have the market with you. Here, see, this is the problem with this buy. Look at the banks. They're selling off a little bit here, even though they're very, very strong. 
Let's look at JPM. Let's take a look at this one here. Okay, the banks are the problem with the spy. So the banks are dragging the spy down. Cues look amazing. And that's all she got. I don't have anything else today. I didn't do this, which I'm glad. Look at it, flew over nine. And this was the one, this was the one. Galad said, thank you. Does any, did anyone do anything else? Did anyone do anything else? RCI never set up. I told you guys, don't do it. I said, this isn't gonna go red today, I'm right. It's solid green like a brick. So no one shorted it and I never made an official call in it that triggered. And then I said, lay off of it. SMM was weird. Looks weird, doesn't have a volume, wasn't a good gap. Could fall tomorrow, nothing to do here. Let's look at Tiva. Target follow through lower, probably flips. Great one yesterday. You gotta be here every day, people. All, every day in February, every day in January. You have to be here every day in earnings season. There's stuff to do. Every day in March. Tiva. This looks lower still again. OCLR. OCLR wasn't too shabby. This data takes forever to load. I wouldn't have done this, but it did work. Again, this isn't what I do, but it did work. And since there were other shorts to do today, there were good shorts today, I, I would never have done this. It did work. People do love to buy these things that gap up to support. This isn't what I do. And since we had a good short, that's what I, you know, focused on this morning. And I'll look at shorts uh, always first, unless we have no shorts, and I'll look at bullish gaps. But this did work. It had a very smooth ride, I'll tell you that. It was a smooth uh, movement, which was nice for this setting up as a long. Whereas the Netflix, well, here, this is selling off. Where did it go last night? Let me just look. In fact, I'm going to look at something right now. So hang on. Before we leave today, I'm going to look at something right now. <laughs> when is the next, oh, okay, next week. When is, So many things in my head now. All right. Uh, what's my target for GMC Kamikaze? GMC Kamikaze targets, first target's 925. First target's low of the day. Low of the day was 950 something, I think. Then 925, then $9. <clears throat> okay. Here, I'll write it in the room.
something. I don't have anything else to say. Does anyone have questions? Just looking at stuff on my mail. No, I'm good. Okay, good. Okay, that's it for today, people. You're in this. If you're in this, you're following it through. You can put the stop or break even if you want to be safe. It's going to trigger in the 15 minute. It was a kamikaze, but it's working. If it breaks the low, $9.25, $9. I made a great call on this today. I was maybe too conservative with the stop, but it worked. And I'm glad the room did it. And some of you are back in it. And the kamikaze is even working. I kind of saw then it wasn't going to set up right. I thought maybe it would do a kamikaze or be done. Uh, because it really is so, so weak. But once this goes and breaks low and falls somewhere, you got to take it if you did do the kamikaze. I don't know what we get tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see what we get, okay? Have a great day, everyone. Congratulations for those of you that did it. Wonderful day again today for the room. Today and yesterday, I'm just, my eye is just very, very good here. So we'll just keep going on. 2017 so far is proving to be a good year. Good job, Steelheart. Think about what I said, though. Thank you, Trader Lexi. All right. I have an appointment today. I do many different things, Sue. <laughs> I, I have many, many things going on right now. <laughs> Usually, like... Three years ago, two years ago, I would go to the gym or relax or go do something in New York, go get my hair done. Now I've got projects. I'm working on a television show. I've, you know, I mean, I just have so many things going on. It's not even funny. But before I started this other project, I would have the rest of the day to myself. Now I got a lot of things to do. I don't think there is a usually anymore. The usually is gone. It's a whole new world, and I'm embracing it. <laughs> All right, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.